Hello, welcome to the second part of the script tool. So in this part, we're going to focus on adding leaves. So previously, we already made the branching system, and right now it's just defining on where can they place leaves. So many will place the leaves on the outside, of course. So first step will be calculating the orientation and rotations of the models. To do that, what we can do is, for example, we can grab a poly frame. And we can, with this node, calculate the normal direction. So in this node, what we want to do is we want to disable the normal name and we want to fill in the normal and the tangent name. Officially, it doesn't necessarily do anything, but when we show our normal view, we can now see that our normals are now following our branches. So each normal is now in the direction of the branch. And that's exactly what I want. Now, next step is actually defining on where my leaves can be placed and we can actually use the group node here from the endpoints so all the endpoints are parts where the leaf should be growing from now after we done our find shortest path node we can see that we don't have that group anymore so by doing some of these steps we don't have that group node what we still can do is we can do a group transferring node so this means that we can transfer one group to another one so here we can plug in our uh, network and the second input will be here from our merge node, for example. And of course, we need to define what is the group that we want to look for. And we want to disable more other, other groups and we only want to get the point one and the end points. To double check if everything went right, we can do a blast node and we can just say blast the end points and revert that. So now we have this result. So now we have all these points where we can have potentially of leaves growing. Now how this node works is actually it's, it searches based on the distance. So if I lower this or increase this, you can see that this will give different results. Then from this uh, result, I want to actually do an add node. And in the add node, I'm just going to say delete everything except the points. So it's just going to have a point cloud. Then we can also do a random deletion of this. Let's say we don't want that many leaves, we can just quickly go here. So in here we can just, for example, say that we want to delete them. I can also recommend you to define a up vector for the rotation here as well. So I have the points with normals on how the, an object should be copied. Uh, but I also want to define a up vector. And for that, I'm actually going to go and reference back to my object here. So I'm going to make an object merge. And we can, with that, we can just simply drag this null node over here. So now I have a reference or link to that place. So here we have our original object. So in here, we also calculate our normal value. You can see we have the normal. What I want to do here is I actually want to rename this to a uh, vector. So here we want to rename our normal to up. So in Houdini, to define a rotation, we either use normal and up vectors, or we can use the orient attribute. So in this case, I'm going to use the normal and the up vector. So with that, we want to then transfer one to another. So transfer information. And what we want to do with that is we also specifically say to only transfer this up value. Now let's already try and copy some leaves. So in this case, let's just start with a simple uh, leaf here. So just going to use a grid. And in here, we can just make it one by one. So it's not too large. And um, you can probably just fine tune this a bit more and to actually make a basic leaf like so. And then maybe just bend it to have like some shape there. Um, so we can also lower the divisions for now. Maybe something like so. And I'm going to press 2 on my keyboard for editing the point modes. I can select the points, press T to move. And I can move things down a bit. I'm going to disable the icon here as well, the lock. And I can just make something that looks like a leaf shape. It doesn't have to be perfect for now. Uh, you can also load in something that you've already made. Which can be, of course, which can, of course, be more useful. So, for example, this is my uh, leaf shape. So I want to copy this on the shape. So we're going to do copy uh, to the points. So we're going to place that like so. 
and what you can see this might be a bit too large so in my case for now let's uh, scale down my leaf so in this transform node maybe let's uh, rotate this a bit higher and see if that does anything so yeah so we can as you can see like if we rotate this i think this is more the look i'm going for uh, so we have like leaves so if you think we have too much we can always go back to this random node and we can start deleting both of them so that's like the first part of scattering leaves so it's very basic so we just took points we assigned to rotation copy them on what we can also do is we can for example have multiple leaves or define variation in leaves so let's say we have like quite extreme variations and we need to split them in two parts we can do that as well with again like the random selection for example uh, i can just for example say to randomly select a couple points we're going to save this in a group i'm not going to keep the color here and we're going to just use a split node so you can for example say that uh, part of these leaves are normal and the other part are for example like damaged or dried out leaves or they are for example branches things like that so we can get that variation so for example these are the normal ones and if i just make something else uh let's just go probably just take sphere or something and these are then other parts and we can merge that together for example like so and then we have something like that so this can be something for something very different if you have like an, another set of leaves or whatever um, but in my case what i want to focus on uh, for now here but more is actually let's say i have a texture atlas and i have for example five different leaves how do we approach that so here let's go back to this part let's give this a color and gradient color Let's give this a, for example, orange, and then I have another one. This one is then, for example, uh, just green. Then I want to merge those together. And when I plug them in into my system, of course, they are just overlapping. So you won't notice anything special here. What we can do with this copy to points node is we can define a variant, variant option. So let's say I want to have a variant. So we can copy the name here or we can use a custom name and we want to create a attribute for each different piece so this is my first piece and this is of course called a variant and this is a integer and this is variant number zero then when i have another one i just copy this node and define that this is variant number one so the more pieces you have the more variant attributes of course so we have like zero one two three four five going up to as many pieces as you have we also need to define this in the point side of things so on the points we want to get a random value so attribute random and in here we also want to define a value variant so either the point can have value 0 or value 1 which is then representing the green or the yellow one so we're going to say so we're going to switch the distribution method to a custom discrete and right now it's going from 0 to 9 we need to go from 0 from 0 to 1 and we also want to change the dimension to just 1 and if i go back here it is still not working and one of the reasons for that is we are using a float and this actually needs to be an integer so we need to cast the attributes to integer so casting float and we just need to say variant needs to be an integer now and as you can see now we are having this variation so we are defining here uh, where this should be as you can see so this is a way if you have like a lot of different pieces of them you can quickly get them so here is another example so this is just plain cards uh, as you normally would have for example and if i go to the UV, this is based on a certain texture atlas so you can go, for example, to uh, Megascans Quixel, find a certain interesting branches or leaves atlas, and then lay out some geometry there, and then we can copy that for the leaves. So currently, the only thing I have to do is just plug in this over here. 
on these parts, I already have a variant attribute. So I can double check this here. For example, how many variants do we have? I have nine different variants. So only now a few of them will be copied. So if I now go back to the variant one, distribution, and for example, increase this to nine. So now I have used my variations. Another thing here, what I want to do is then, for example, add a, a random skinning. So what we can do is we can just do another randomize. And we can just say, we scale. And we could automatically see it working. So we want to define a scale. And this is, of course, a dimension one. And it probably should not be zero because then basically we, we won't see it. So let's say it's from 0.2 to 1. So we can either have like very small ones or very large ones. And we can also use the global scale here to boost this up quickly. Uh, and then you have a result like this. So maybe in this case, this is might be too low for my result. So I'm just going to keep it a bit closer. So we have like this result. And in my situation, I now want to also grab the second part here. And this is actually for uh, dry leaves. So these are some other leaves. And they are placed in another position of the atlas. And we're just going to plug them in over here. We also need that system with the variant. So we're just going to grab what we had here. And place this then in this part. So we are overriding that. We also want to enable the variant part. And I'm also going to copy here that transform. Like so. So these are, for example, uh, dry leaves. They have like a more orange color in the texture and they are coming together like so. So with this uh, random selection node, I can define how many of them I want. Um, you can always like uh, do the jitter if you want to actually make something a bit more like wild look. You can see like we can quickly jitter up the points. Uh, but important here is to actually don't update normals because it will uh, it will actually break that rotation that we calculated. Uh, and I can, as you can see, like we can quickly add this to have like some more subtle, smaller variations here and there. So it can always be interesting to place down and play around with uh, to have like more variations. So those are the leaves and we can just now merge everything together. So here we have the branches, then we have the leaves, and then we have our result. So as you can see, we have like a nice scrub with also like being able to see those branches inside. So it will be really cool to have in game engine. So that was it for this part. We made the leaves. I showed you a couple things in there about calculating the rotations and also how to scatter them uh, with variation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.